Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and I have a question for you. And that question is, would you call these drones? Well, in pretty much 100% of the countries around the world, yes, these are drones. How about these helicopters? Would you call them drones? Well, yes, in 99.9% .9 of the countries around the world, these are known as drones. And how about these RC planes? Would you call these drones? Yes, in 99.9% .9 of the countries around the world, these are called drones. Now, if you're an old dinosaur like me, then you're kind of confused because you would say the first ones I showed you were drones, the second ones were helicopters, and the third ones were planes. But that is not the way the governments of the world see it. So let me explain really quickly. A way back in the year 2013, I'll put the 2013 back here, this is when I entered the drone hobby and back then drones were a piece of crap because they didn't do much they only flew as far as you could see them the gps in the drones if they even had gps didn't really work that's why we have the term fly away and back in 2013 drones didn't have cameras on them there was no such thing as a gimbal so if you put a camera on a drone it looked pretty bad because it was moving all over the place and it was all low crappy resolution so because of that in the year 2013 most countries around the world did not have drone regulations and they didn't have regulations because no one complained back then because very few people owned a drone they didn't fly very high so you wouldn't be in contact with an airplane very rare and people didn't complain if a drone flew around because it didn't have a camera but then in the year 2015 I have 2015 here so everything makes sense to you that's only two years after 2013 everything changed people started to buy drones at their local electronics store because DJI made this brand new beginner kit you got a drone with a remote that flew quite well, you know, and it actually had a camera on it that was pretty crappy, but people still bought it. And it kind of looked like this, the Phantom. Soon people were buying these in the hundreds and then the thousands and flying them in their neighborhoods and bothering other people because of the camera and doing silly and stupid things and also crashing into planes. So because of that, every time a pilot was flying a plane, didn't matter if it was a private plane or a commercial airliner, and they came in contact with a balloon or a garbage bag, they called it an unidentified flying object, a UFO. So back then UFO was popular. But when UFO got to the media, the media showed this on their screen, a drone, because they couldn't show a UFO because there were no pictures of UFOs, but there was lots of pictures of drones. So for seven years, every time the media used the word drone, this is the photo they showed. Even though DJI had pretty much discontinued the Phantom and switched to the Mavic series, uh, they were still showing pictures of the Phantom. Now, because of all those crazy drone cowboys, as they were called around the world, every country adopted drone regulations and when that happened all the people that flew rc planes and rc helicopters didn't really care because they thought drone regulations that's not us mm, they were wrong and that's because the term drone does not refer to something like this a quadcopter the term drone refers to anything that is an aircraft so these are all aircrafts that is flying unmanned and remotely controlled that is exactly what a drone is so all of these are drones and that's why every country has drone regulations and those regulations apply to this to the airplane and to the actual drone now if you're from the old school you might be kind of in disagreement because you grew up thinking a drone is a drone a helicopter is a helicopter a plane is a plane so how about i explain it more clearly watch this then come back to me let's begin by asking chat gpt what is a drone and the answer is a drone is an unmanned aerial vehicle flown remotely now let's ask it what is considered a drone in Canada and you receive the same definition except in Canada the term RPAS is used. RPAS stands for Remotely Piloted Aircraft System. And if I ask what is considered a drone in the United States, you then get the same response except in the United States the term UAS is used, Unmanned Aircraft System. Now just to make sure I'm asking the right question, I then asked it, hey, can an RC plane be considered a drone? And the answer is yes. Take a look at the response down below where it says legal and regulatory terms and you'll see it's a very clear and precise answer.
And of course, if you have to ask the question, can an RC helicopter be considered a drone? Well, the answer comes back that yes, an RC helicopter is considered a drone. And finally, when I asked the question, does every country in the world consider an RC plane, an RC helicopter unmanned to be a drone? The answer came back that pretty much 99.9% .9 of all countries do consider those RC products to be drones. Here we have a photo of a very popular military unmanned drone that is remotely controlled and it looks like a plane but this is the Predator. And if we go to the big brother of the Predator we have the Reaper. Once again it looks like a plane but it's unmanned and it is a drone. And here we have the military's Black Hornet helicopter which is called a drone. It is unmanned and remotely controlled and used in the combat field. It certainly looks like a helicopter, but it's known as a reconnaissance drone. Now, when you listen to your local news and you hear about attacks on cities and countries around the world by drones, swarms of drones, do you think of drones like this? Well, if you do, you would be 100% incorrect. And that's because these type of FPV drones or DJI drones have a very short range, do not fly very fast, and cannot carry heavy loads. When drones attack in swarms of drones, these are the drones the media is speaking of. Don't they look like RC planes? These kamikaze drones can be launched from pretty much anywhere. They always fly in swarms of five to like 500, and they can carry a heavy payload, and they are powered by a gas moped engine. So there you have it. A drone is a drone is a drone, and it doesn't essentially mean a drone, something with four motors, three motors, two motors. It could be a plane, helicopter, or a drone. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have questions or you want to comment and add further to all the regulations in your country, you know, comment about your own regulations, just post your comments below so everybody can see them. But for now, I say thanks for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll get back to you with future video reviews of drones, which could be helicopters, planes, or drones. Until then, I say bye. I